Hell oh guys, it is Sisters here back with another video. Google releases Nexus devices every year and last year they released two Nexus devices packed with awesome features and functionalities, Nexus 5X and Nexus 6P. Both the devices are almost the same but differs in some hardware configurations and specifications and both these devices as of now runs Android 6.0.1 that's nothing but Android Marshmallow and being a stock Android device that is a device running a pure Android version this Nexus 6P and 5X are not that much customizable in normal users view but these two devices has some hidden features and functionalities which can make these devices a bit customizable so here are some of the tips and tricks which you can apply on your Nexus devices to make it somewhat customizable so with no further ado as usual let us step into the actual part of the video Hey guys, if you are having a tech blog or tech website, then why use .com, .co, .net and other domains like that? You know, .com and .co and other domains are so mainstream, they are old fashioned. If you are having a tech blog or tech website, then why not go for .tech domain extension? .tech domain extension is widely used by everyone in the world, even the popular tech stars, YouTube content creators, why not? Even CES now uses a .tech domain extension. If you want a .tech domain, go to get.tech and use the coupon code ITSSTAS to grab your suitable domain at just $2.99 yes just $2.99 to learn more click the link in the video description and the first hidden functionality which is present inside this Nexus 6P is the system UI tuner. This is completely hidden from the system settings and you need to trigger it by pressing the settings quick settings icon on the notification panel and the system UI tuner enables you to edit the quick menu that is the notification panel or the quick settings panel which is present above which you get when you swipe from the top. These icons can be rearranged, can be deleted, new icons can be added to this quick settings panel and other things. So in order to trigger the system UI tuner, you need to press the gear icon or the settings gear icon on the quick settings panel for 5 to 10 seconds continuously. It rotates and after 10 seconds, just remove your finger from that settings icon. This will give you a prompt stating that system UI options has been turned on and after that, go into settings and at the end, after bad phone, you will find the system UI tuner and go inside it where you can change whatever you want you can rearrange the icons you can delete old icons even if you want to add new icons you can do that and inside the system UI tuner you can even change or modify the status bar icons for instance if you turn on your Wi-Fi your Wi-Fi icon will be displayed on your status bar same with Bluetooth airplane mode or GPS and other things but in case if you don't want those icons or your clock or your battery to be shown on your status bar you can turn it off too inside the system UI tuner settings so these are the things which you can and modify in your Nexus devices with the system UI tuner and the next trick is not a hidden one like the previous one is actually explicitly displayed inside your display settings and that is called as ambient display uh, most of the users never use this one uh, some of the users don't have idea what this ambient display settings is in case if your device is in locked mode and if you receive a notification and if this ambient display settings is turned on then your device will automatically glow the screen will automatically be turned on the lock will not be removed but the notification will be displayed in the lock state even if you lift your device from the table or from a flat surface um your device screen will glow that is this ambient display settings if you think this is useful then please turn it on and moving on to the next trick we have the hidden file explorer nexus devices or stock android devices actually have a hidden file manager which will be present inside the storage settings but most of us are not aware of that and we download some simple file explorer from play store if you are going to download a simple file explorer then don't do that because you have it inbuilt inside your device just go to settings storage settings and inside internal storage of the last there will be an option named explore once you click on that explorer option it will display a simple file explorer using which you can view files you can delete files even if you want to share some files you can share it uh, it's actually a useful hidden feature it's not actually hidden but most of us are not aware that this thing is present inside a stock android device 
and this file explorer is really useful you need not download another third party file explorer if you want that for simple operations and moving on to the next trick we have the app permissions this is actually a security feature in all android devices this app permission feature enables you to see what are the things which are accessible by an application installed in your device or in case if you want an app to control each and every act or each and every operation of your system then a uh, whole system permission access is given to that application and not by default it will prompt you once you open the application so this is a security feature which is present in all the android devices running android 6.0 plus so you can also turn off permissions like if you don't want an app to particularly access the camera or your audio then you can turn it off in case if you do not want whatsapp to use your microphone then you can open whatsapp and go inside app permissions and you can turn off microphone option which will block whatsapp from accessing your microphone likewise you can do it for all other applications this is actually a security feature and it will be a useful one and there is another app feature called as default apps if you want to open an app as default for certain actions take for browsing you want to open google chrome or other browser installed in your device then you can go inside default app section and you can choose that app as your default app there is also another option called app links if you are browsing on the web and if you suddenly find the web link with facebook.com slash something it may be a facebook page it may be a facebook profile but once you click inside your browser it will prompt you whether you want to open it with your browser or facebook or something in case if you don't want that to happen go inside app link settings and there will be a list of links displayed inside every app that is inside the app link option if you click on facebook then the link supported by facebook application will be listed out and if you want facebook to be the default app to open those types of link then just check it and select it as the default app to open all the links in that format not only facebook you can do it for all other links amazon twitter or whatever link which an app owns that will be open in that app itself this is actually a useful feature but most of us miss to use it in stock android and the next one is also an app setting and that is nothing but the battery optimization settings this battery optimization settings allows you to optimize your battery performance by reducing the usage of each and every app by default some of the apps will be present inside the battery optimization settings but in case if you want to add all the apps installed in your device to run on optimized battery mode then you can select all apps and all apps usage will be monitored by your operating system and the battery will be optimized regularly and moving on to the next one we have the developer options this one is actually a hidden one like the system your tuner we saw earlier go into about phone and inside about phone there will be a thing called this build number once you click on this build number for 5 to 10 times it will show you that you are these steps away from developer settings and and then after a series of taps on the build number you will be allowed to use developer options stay awake mode this mode is nothing but in case if you are charging your mobile then your mobile display will be turned on forever till the charging completes if your mobile is hooked up to a charger then the screen will stay awake forever that's the settings and there are even more settings like turning on a service turning off a service if you do not want an app to be running at the background then you can actually stop the services of that application that particular app and moving on to the next thing there will be an option named USB debugging. This is actually useful in connecting your device to your PC. Uh, USB debugging is nothing but an interface between your personal computer and your Android phone. In case if you want to manage your device using a third party software like mobile suits or mobile software, mm, like several PC suits are there for Android devices. If you want to manage your device using these softwares, then USB debugging need to be turned on in your device. Including that, there are several options like uh, maintaining or changing or optimizing windows animation transition scales like uh, the time taken to dim a window fade a window fade a menu or other things long duration transitions may affect performance of your device by making your device slow and other things it can also consume more battery because those are appearance settings if you don't want those things you can turn it off if you want those things you can turn it on these are the main things which are present inside developer options there is also a feature called as emulating secondary display which actually emulate a secondary android screen inside your device screen i do not actually know what's the use of this thing but it can be done inside developer options so these are the things which are present inside developer option itself 
if you want to explore your android device in depth then please turn this on and the next trick is dealing with nexus fingerprint sensor nexus has an awesome fingerprint sensor especially nexus 6p and the fingerprint sensor is called as nexus imprint this is a high performance high definition fingerprint sensor and uh, while saving a fingerprint for unlocking a device most of the users does uh, some wrong thing and that is if you are registering a fingerprint then for each try don't keep your finger in the same position keep changing the finger position so in case if you want to unlock your device just by tapping your finger at any position in the sensor then you need to record or register all the positions of your finger it's it, it will not mess up with your fingerprint or something it actually optimizes the unlocking speed and it actually makes it easy for you to unlock your device using this fingerprint sensor and this is also used as a security feature inside play store when you move on to play store inside settings inside advanced settings there will be an option called authenticate every payment using nexus imprint this is in case if you are purchasing an app then and it will ask for your fingerprint authentication and without your fingerprint it will not allow you to make any purchases if you want to make your app purchases secure then please turn this on and the last but not the least trick is the smart lock settings as the name suggests smart lock which takes care of automatic locking and unlocking of your device where you can add some trusted devices like your smart watch to unlock your android device or a trusted location in case if you are present in your home and if you trust all the people in your home and if you want your device to be unlocked in your home then you can turn this on and you can choose the location at which you want your device to be at unlocked state and and within that location your device stays unlocked the next smart lock settings is voice detection where you can train your voice and if you say okay google then your device will be unlocked so the smart lock settings can be used to lock and unlock your device in a smart way i hope so these are the main tips and tricks which you can use to customize or optimize your android device and at last a bonus trick for you this one is actually present in all android devices go into about phone and inside about phone tap the android version for a long time until it displays a marshmallow or your android logo long press on that android logo go and it opens up a small game if you are bored and if you do not have any game installed in your device then please um feel free to play this little game it's it's really difficult just try it it's really difficult to play these are all the important and useful and cool tips and tricks which is useful to make your android a better android and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did so give me a like if you didn't so give me a dislike and if you have any suggestions write it as comments if you want to stay connected with my channel stay subscribed if you are already a subscriber thanks for subscribing and i will hopefully meet you guys and girls in the next one until and unless it's bye bye from atsistas bye